Okay, so welcome back everyone. So today, as you all know, we are going to do Form 4, Chapter 1, Quadratic Equation, right? So first of all, I want to tell something first. This chapter, if anyone takes AdMats here, you must know that this chapter is your basic to your AdMats. If you can't master this chapter in modern maths, you most likely will have trouble in your AdMats, lah, generally for most people. Okay, so yeah, that's why I emphasize this chapter a lot. Lah. It's related to your AdMats. But this one is much simpler because it's in modern maths. There's less formulas, there's less concepts, and yeah, less calculations, of course. Okay, so let's see. So first of all, can you all see my screen? If can, can respond. Can see clearly the screen? Okay, very good. Let's go. Okay, so today we are going to discuss. Yes, good, good. Wait, nah, the people joining still. Okay. So today we are doing trials SPM 2022, okay? So I collected all these questions regarding Form 4, Chapter 1, Quadratic from all the trials in 2022. So all the questions you can find here about Quadratic. Lah. So not much actually. You can see around 16 pages minus 2 for 14 questions. Lah. Around there, very short, short only. Because maths, each question is very short. So tiap soalan dalam matematik adalah sangat pendek. Bukan panjang macam at maths, okay? So this is mathematics form four bab one. So kita buat persamaan quadratic. We are using we are doing quadratic equations today. Okay, so let's start. First state. Okay, first state we are doing kada trials. Trial negeri kada dua ribu dua puluh dua. Okay, so let me let's analyze the question first. Okay, so first of all, in an animated game. So yang dos belajar BM boleh baca yang BM. Okay, sebab saya tak mau baca dua dua sekali. Nanti baze masa pula. I'll just read the English, okay? So in an animated game, Racket Ralph, okay, that's the game. Ralph jumps from a building. So you can assume that Ralph is this one. He's jumping from a building. This is the situation, okay? Ini adalah situasi dia. Dia melompat dari bangunan. At the same time, ini satu orang lah. The very low. Okay lah, tak apa. Yang ni baling bola ke arah Ralph. He's throwing the ball towards Ralph, okay? And the graph of function... Okay, so first question to you all. What type of graph is this? Y equals 6 plus X minus X square. What do we call this graph? Quadratic. Very good, Swasti. Correct. First person. Accurate. Okay. So, yeah. This is quadratic graph. Okay. So, let me see any other things. Okay. So, this one. Y equals 2X. Kita panggil graph ni apa? What do we call this graph? Y equals 2X. Apa jenis graph ini? Straight line. Another word. I know it, the shape is straight line, but what is the name for it? Apa nama graph ni? Linear. Very good, Abhishek. Correct. Very good, Hamizan. Correct. I think kamu typo. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so now we analyze huh, together slowly and surely. Okay, wait now. Huh? Okay, so why represents distance? Why ni mewakili jarak dalam meter? In meter and time is in seconds. Masa tu dalam saat. Okay, so sekarang kita tengok graph. Graph dia macam ni. Okay, so kamu boleh lihat. So yeah, basically quadratic graph ni mereka lukis separuh saja. Kamu boleh lihat kat sini. Bukan macam ni. Mereka lukis bahagian ni saja. So you still need to understand ini adalah bentuk quadratic. Okay, so boleh faham yang ni ke? Kalau mereka lukis separuh ini maksudnya masih quadratic. Can you understand? Yes, good. I can picture. Kamu kena imaginasi sikit. Okay? Very good. So, now we read the question. State the equation. Nyatakan persamaan paksi simetri for the quadratic function. Maksudnya yang ni. So, can you, can anyone tell me what is the idea? How to find equation of axis of symmetry? Macam mana nak cari? Apa idea kamu? What's the idea to find? Is it gradient? Uh, no, gradient is for straight line. Use formula negative B. Very good, parity. Correct. Very good. You remember that formula. So this is an important formula. Actually, a lot of people don't realize. Good, good, yeah. This one, a lot of people don't realize kamu boleh guna formula ini dalam mathematic tambahan tau. Sebab mathematic tambahan, people forget this formula a lot. And this is actually come from your modern maths. Ini datang dari modern maths kamu. Okay, so kamu kena tahu formula ini kalau nak cari paksi simetri. Another way yang lebih senang, 
let's say saya bagi kat sini, okay? Saya bagi contoh yang random saja. Ini nombor satu, this is five. Can anyone tell what is the equation of axis of symmetry? What is the, apa persamaan faksi symmetry untuk yang ni? Siapa boleh type tak? Eh, hey, hey, careful, careful. Three. Yes, very good, Sugan, very good. Jun Hao, yeah, correct. So, three is here. So, another way, cara yang lebih senang, kalau kamu tak nak guna formula ini, satu tambah lima per dua, you get three also. Yes, very good, Abhishek, that's the method also. You can also, kamu boleh guna method ni juga. Ini pilihan pertama. Kalau kamu tak ingat ni, ini pilihan kedua. Tapi untung ni mereka kena bagi bagi nilai lah. If you don't have the nilai, if you don't have the value of the roots of the quadratic equation, kamu tak boleh guna yang ni. Kena guna yang ni saja sebab ada nilai B dan A. So depends on situation. Kamu kena tengok macam mana soalan itu diwangka. Then only you can choose which method is suitable for you. So can you understand? Boleh faham setakat ni? Yes, okay, good, good. So let's continue. Oh, response very good lah today. Tak pernah tengok macam ni. <laughs> okay, good. Ah, wait, wait. Okay, so this is the graph, okay? We are doing this graph. Sekarang mereka nak persamaan axis of symmetry, okay? So teruskan, cikgu. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so now... This is the graph. So, Ken, I want to ask you. Saya nak tanya semua. Apa nilai... Eh, sana. Saya nak check dulu betul ke. Okay, correct. Okay. Apa nilai A kamu? What is the value of A in this equation? Very good, Tristy. Correct. Very good, Abhishek. Correct. Good. Very good, Kirtin. Correct. Very good, everyone. I cannot tell your names already. Too many. Okay. Good. So, okay, A is negative 1. What is your value of B? Apa nilai B kamu sekarang? 1. Very good, everyone. What is your C value? 6. Very good. Very, very good. Means correct. Do you understand? Kamu telah faham bentuk am laju ya sebab banyak orang. Never mind. It's okay. So, this one, uh, what I wanted to say? Ah, Kamu semua dah faham uh, bentuk am persamaan kuadratik. You know the general form of a quadratic equation. Y equals AX square plus BX plus C. So you understand this already. That's why you can tell me these values. Okay, so good. So based on this, siapa-siapa boleh bagi tahu tak? Apakah persamaan paksi untuk graf ni? Nilai. What is the equation of the axis of symmetry for this graph? Hi, I feel. What is the equation? Apa persamaan dia untuk graf ni? Paksi simetri. Jom, jom. Ambil kalkulator kira-kira. Dah tiga tahun saya tak... Eh, ini tingkatan empat tau. Satu per dua. Wait, some people say negative. Let me count. Ah, ah This one must be careful. Negative B over 2A. I pun kena congak kat sini. Negative B over 2A. Ah, Satu per dua jawapan dia. Bukan negatif. Ah, sebab negatif bagi dengan negatif. Be careful. For those who say negative 1 over 2. Because it's negative 1 over negative 2. Oh, wow. Ada juga case macam ni. Bagus lah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, this is 1 over 2. This is the answer. Okay. So, I'll show you the working. So, this is my working. So, I analyze first. Saya, kamu kena analisis dulu. Daripada persamaan ini, keluarkan dulu. Extract the values of A, B and C. So, just now you told me all correct, right? This one so good. You passed that step already. Kamu dah faham langkah tu. Okay, so this is how you solve. X is negative B over 2A. X is, uh, this one be careful. Because the formula, wait for people joining. Sebab formula dia negatif B per 2A tau. So, kamu kena ingat ada dah negatif kat sini. So, kamu kena letak. B tu satu saja, So, negatif satu. 
bagi dengan 2 darab A tu negatif 1. So, kamu akan dapat macam ni. Lepas tu negatif bagi negatif jadi positif. That's why jawapan dia X sama dengan 1 per 2. So, boleh faham soalan ni? Everyone can understand? Good. Very good start. Okay, good. It, uh. Okay, so sekarang saya nak, I want to show to everyone here. Macam mana kamu nak score untuk soalan ini? How can you score for this type of question, okay? So, this question ada two marks tau. Uh, dia tak tulis kat sini, tapi ini dua marka. This is two marks also. So, how do you score these two marks? Macam mana kamu nak score dalam exam? Okay, wait now. Okay. So, this one. Bila kamu boleh tunjuk step ni, kamu akan dapat K1. K1 tu maksud kerja, jalan kerja kamu. Bila examiner atau pemeriksa nampak saja step ni, kamu akan diberikan satu marka. Sebab kamu tahu formula persamaan paksi simetri. You know the formula of axis of symmetry. X is negative B over 2A. That's why kamu boleh buat langkah ni. Okay? And then, of course, jawapan akhir kamu juga dapat satu marka juga. So, total dua marka. So, boleh faham? Macam mana pemberian marka? Boleh, good. Okay, now we go question B pula. Kita pergi soalan B. So, soalan B nak tanya, state the time and height the ball hits 12. Ah, ini sedikit susah sikit, tapi I rasa kamu semua boleh ikut. Let's see the graph. Ah. Okay, so I want, ah, siapa-siapa boleh bagi tahu tak? Apa, what is the key to this, to this question? Apa soalan nak sebenarnya? State the time and height when Ralph hits the ball. Apa soalan nak cari sekarang? Very good, Sugan. That's the keyword I want to hear. Titik persilangan or intersection point. So, kamu semua boleh nampak intersection point dua-dua graf ni adalah kat sini. Bila dua-dua graf tu bersilang, itu dipanggil titik persilangan. Okay? So, ya. Uh. Syamizan bagi motivasi, motivasi kat semua. Good. Okay. So, siapa-siapa boleh bagi tahu tak? X ni ialah masa. Y axis pula adalah meter. So, apa masa untuk persilangan Ralph dengan bola? Can anyone tell? What is the uh, time value? Apa nilai masa dia? Eh, hey, sorry, sorry. Okay, here. What is the value of T? Very good, Izatul. T equals to Very good also to the others. T equals to So, T correct already. Apa nilai meter pula? Berapa meter untuk titik persilangan? Very good, very good. K is 4. I mean, uh, S is 4. Yeah, correct. So, dari sini, kamu boleh dapat dua marka juga. Yeah, very good. So, how you answer is? Kadang-kadang uh, kalau kamu nak tulis macam ni juga boleh tahu. Kamu nak, if you want to explain to the examiner how you get this idea, this answer, kamu boleh tulis macam ni. When the bola itu, uh, hit this one, uh, hits, la, hits Ralph, itu adalah titik persilangan antara persamaan kuadratik dengan garis lurus. Itu uh, akan memberi satu gambaran kepada examiner, kamu faham apa kamu buat. So, therefore, kamu boleh conclude. Time is 2 second, height is 4 meter. So, kalau kamu tulis sini satu marka, kamu tulis sini juga satu marka. So, dua marka. Okay? So, boleh understand? Can faham? Yes, good, good. Okay, so can we go to the next question? If anyone want to copy, boleh bagi tahu juga. Kalau siapa-siapa nak salin yang ni semua. Or else we can proceed. Cikgu nak tanya, okay. Siapa-siapa nak tanya soalan daripada, siapa-siapa nak tanya soalan daripada soalan ini boleh uh, ajukan kat chat box sebelum saya proceed. Okay, wait for Jason first. What's your question? What is the difference between rumus and formula? Benda sama. Sebenarnya benda sama. Formula is term BI. Rumus tu term BN. <laughs> Apa beza ungkapan kuadratik dengan persamaan kuadratik? Uh, persamaan tu kena ada 
sama dengan sebab kena ada simbol ini sama dengan ungkapan tu macam fx sama dengan apa 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 ungkapan macam tu biasanya soalan tanya ungkapkan x dalam sebutan y kan kamu biasa jumpa tu express x in terms of y macam ni ungkapan biasanya mereka akan bagi simbol fx kalau persamaan mungkin macam ni saja x square minus 8x plus 7 equals 0 Okay, wait, I've got a lot of questions. Teacher, can you score up? Okay, sure, actually. Wait, uh, I have to delete for you. I go big. A uh, lot of this thing. Tell me once you're done, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So we proceed, okay, everyone? Let's go to the next question. Okay, so next question, ah, lebih mencabar sekarang. Sekarang we go to Kedah Trials 2022, okay? So let's read the question. So diagram shows PQR right angle triangle. Okay, I want to ask everyone, kalau kamu nampak saja perkataan segi tiga, apa dia ni, segi tiga bersudut tegak, uh, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Right angle triangle. Pythagoras, yes, good idea. I will agree with Ashley. Pythagoras theorem, 90 degree, yeah, very good also. Just to think only, just think very good. A lot say 90 degree, okay, means you understand here is 90 degree, right? So good. Okay, so now they say if the area of the triangle luas segi tiga 480 meter square. So, uh, okay, macam mana kamu nak ungkapkan uh, CC, CC segi tiga ini ke dalam luas yang diberi. How do you express the sides of the triangle to the area given? What is the formula we use? Apa formula dia? Half times tinggi. Very good, Jason. Correct. Half base times side. Yeah, it's very good. So half base times side equals 480. So kamu dah dapat persamaan dah. Okay, so now, okay, can you tell me what is the base? Apa tapak segi tiga? What is the expression? X plus 28. Yes, correct. Very good, everyone. Correct. So it's like this, right? X plus 28. So how about the height? Apa tertinggian dia? Apa ungkapan? 2x, very good. Okay, so now from here, kamu kena gunakan uh, knowledge, pengetahuan kuadratik untuk cari nilai x sebab kamu dah bentuk persamaan. So soalan ini, this type of question we call as daily life application sebab mereka bagi situasi macam kat playground. They give you a situation and ask you to form this first. Baru kamu boleh guna pengetahuan atau konsep kuadratik kamu. Okay? So, we see first. Okay. Okay, so anyone want to solve or not? Saya bagi peluang untuk semua solve. Cari nilai X dulu. Nak tengok siapa dapat betul. Sebab so, kalau saya explain, saya tak tahu macam mana kamu faham soalan. Atau, yeah, your concept lah basically. So, anyone can tell what's your X values. Oh, Canton, very fast, very good. 12. Okay, so is 12, uh, adakah 12 uh, hanya nilai kamu atau ada nilai yang lain juga? Negative 40. Yes, very good, Canton. Very fast. Yeah. Okay, so now I ask question to everyone. Ini juga soalan bagus. Kamu dapat nilai, so no need to solve already. Ada orang yang dah solve. But if you want to solve, also can lah. Okay, so now the values is X itu sama dengan 12. X sama dengan negative 40. So saya nak tanya kamu semua sekarang. Nilai apa? Adakah kamu akan terima dua-dua nilai ini? Will you accept both of these values as your answer? Tak. No, very good. So why? Siapa-siapa boleh terangkan. Why do we won't accept both value? 
Jawab tak ada negatif. Very good. Correct. If you put negative 40 dalam ungkapan ini, negative can be accepted in measurement. Uh, Sesti, you're telling what actually? What do you mean? Oh, can <laughs> I got shocked for a while. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so negative 40 cannot because when you sub negative 40 inside here, kamu akan dapat negative. Yeah, yeah, understand. Negative 12 meter. So negative 12 meter ini tak boleh wujud dalam situasi harian ini. Sebab kita cakap pasal jarak tau. Bukan sesaran. Kalau sesaran boleh ada negative. If you learn physics, you know this. Sesaran tu boleh ada negative. Sekarang mereka kata jarak. Distance. Distance tu hanya boleh ada nilai saja tak bergantung pada arah. So that's why I say you cannot accept negative. So setiap uh, nilai yang kamu dapat ada justifikasi dia. Okay. So 12. So now. Uh, okay. So sekarang mereka nak kamu calculate the distance. So siapa-siapa boleh bagi jawapan terus tak? What's the distance? So sekarang mereka basically nak cari apa? What's the quantity they want to find now from this question? Very good. Perimeter means you all understand this question. Very good. Okay, so can you all tell the, the value? Then I will go to the question. One four nine, very good, correct. Okay, so I want to ask you, wait, uh, wait, wait. Okay, one four nine is correct, but will you leave your answer like this in the exam paper? Adakah kamu akan tulis satu empat sembilan saja? I want to ask you. Kalau if you want to be very safe in your exam, yes, very good. Always I highlight in maths, kamu tak boleh lupa unit. Ja, um, it's a big no. Tidak, jangan lupa yang ni. Same as your physics, don't forget unit. You get your correct value. You still get wrong if you don't write your unit. Kamu tak dapat markah kalau kamu tak tulis unit. So, this is the concept kami apply dalam matematik dan fizik juga lah. So, and maths also same. Okay? Any calculation kena ada unit. So, that's the thing lah. Okay, so correct with this. So, now I explain to everyone. Okay, so let's go. So, area of triangle, soalan dah bagi yang ni. So, kamu kena ungkapkan apa formula rumus untuk uh, luas segi tiga. So, 1 over 2 base times height, right? So, you will, kamu perlu gantikan nilai-nilai ini. X plus 28 and 2X. So, equals 480. And then, kamu boleh pindah yang ni. So, dari sini kamu kena mahir dah untuk algebra kamu. Macam mana kamu nak cari nilai X. So, you need to arrange the equation in the form of this general form. Then, only you can apply your method of Simple factorization from factor 1 untuk dapat nilai X. Okay. So, bila 1 per 2 pindah kat sini, akan jadi darab tau. So, jangan confuse. Jangan bagi 2 pula. Okay. So, you will get 960. So, kat sini pula kamu boleh expand. 2X square plus 56X. And then 960, kamu nak ungkapkan dalam ni kan, kena ingat. So, bawa balik kat belah kiri pula. Ah, faham ya. Yeah. So, okay. Apa yang saya buat kat sini? Siapa-siapa boleh bagi tahu tak? Because I see some people don't know how I reach from this step to this step. What do I do actually? Anyone can explain tak? Macam mana saya dapat dari sini ke sini? Dy2. Yes, very good. Correct. Sometimes a lot of people don't know this step actually. Actually why I do this is basically untuk memudahkan pemfaktoran saya kat sini. Kalau kamu nak bagi terus kat sini juga boleh sebab kamu boleh menekan semua nilai ini dalam kalkulator kamu. You know right how to find x value using calculator. Boleh tak tu unit meter saya tulis dalam pertengahan. Uh, uh, well, what do you mean actually? Actually, kamu boleh tulis unit dalam semua semua jalan pun, tak salah pun. Tapi, saya tekankan kat jawapan akhir saja. Emphasize to write in the final answer only. If you don't write in the halfway pun tak apa. Mereka takkan tolak markah pun. Because it's not in the marking scheme, that one. Uh, yeah. 
yes equation ah uh, uh, you know right okay good so okay so boleh guna calculator untuk yang ni tau so jangan risau so kamu eh, wow so many people lah huh? <laughs> okay so x minus 12 equals 0 x plus 40 equals 0 so daripada ini kamu boleh simpulkan bahawa x sama dengan 12 x sama dengan negative 40 so why i reject negative 40 we already explained earlier right Jawab tu tak boleh negative. Length is not negative. So, kamu boleh buat kesimpulan kat sini. Since x is greater than 0, x is 12. So, untuk bagi tahu lah mengapa kamu reject nilai ni. Because the condition that x is greater than 0. I do like this. Wait, huh? Wait for a while. Half x. Yeah, you still reach to the same equation. Means it's accepted. Means your factorizing will be same, yeah. On top there, it's all right. They won't care much about it. Your first mark actually comes from here, you know. This one, when you get to this general form. Uh, so your method on top there, mereka tak akan bagi marka pun. Kat sini saja mereka lihat untuk marka pertama. If you get this equation correct, means you get your first mark. So, yeah, like that. Can okay, you understand? Uh, okay. So now we calculate total distance run. Huh? So just now kamu semua bagi tau perimeter kan? So 2x tambah x tambah 28 tambah x tambah 73. So what you do is kamu kena gantikan saja nilai x ni dalam semua x bagi ungkapan ni. You just substitute x value into all the expression. So you will get 4x plus 101. Oh yang ni saya tak gantikan lagi lah. Saya nak permudahkan semua ni dulu. I want to simplify the lengths given to like one ungkapan. So then I sub 12. Kalau kamu nak sub 12 lebih awal, boleh juga. Boleh ganti lebih awal. So you will get 149 meter. So yeah. So can you understand semua soalan ni? Okay, very good. Okay, so I'll tell where the marks, okay? I told the first one already. So second mark. Second mark, bila kamu boleh tunjuk langkah ni, kamu dapat satu marka. Means you know how to do factorization method. Okay? So, satu marka kat situ. And bila kamu dapat X sama dengan 12, satu marka. And bila kamu dapat jawapan akhir, juga satu marka. So, soalan ni empat marka tau. So, ya, yeah, agak berbaloi lah bagi saya. Quite, quite profiting for marks. Okay? So, can we go on? Next question. Kalau semua ready or if anyone want to screenshot, can tell me, okay? Kalau siapa-siapa nak screenshot solution. If any question on this question, you can also ask me. Kalau siapa-siapa ada soalan, boleh tanya juga. Okay, I think all want to proceed already. Okay, let's go. So, next one, huh? 54. Okay, uh, penang trials come. Okay, this question a bit more challenging. So, ni lebih mencabar sikit lah, bukan sangat pun. Okay, so they say quadratic function. This is the quadratic. So, kamu bila tengok ni jangan macam risau tau sebab tengok A, B, C dengan X separate macam tu. Wow, first time. PFS gang come already, ya? Yeah? <laughs> Rishal? <laughs> Finally, you join. Okay. So, this is the quadratic equation, okay? So, point P is the maximum point, okay? T take maximum P. So, okay, nothing much to say lah, okay? So, siapa-siapa boleh bagi tau tak? Bentuk ni, apa nama dia? What's the name of this? When they write quadratic equation like this, apa nama dia? If anyone take n match here, you should know. Um, bukan am. Am to ax square plus bx plus c. Vertex c, eh, wait, wait. Eh, ni bukan vertex. Vertex is A X minus H square plus K. Murung ke? I think I tak tahu term ni dalam BM. But this one is general. Uh, general lah. Uh, intercept, I think. Yeah. I think I fail. Yeah. Correct. This one one of the names in NMAX. If anyone knows this, please correct me. Yeah. If anyone know this term in BM. Sebab saya tak familiar sangat dalam term BM ni. Okay. So, yeah. This is intercept lah. So, now mereka tanya, calculate the values of BCA. So, 
Okay, now I want to ask you later. Okay, macam mana nak cari nilai B dan C dulu? Anyone have idea or not? How do you find B and C values? C is intercept. Uh, not here. In this case, C bukan intercept. Selesaikan persamaan. Tengok paksi X. Ya, yeah, betul. Correct. Tengok paksi X. Apa dalam paksi X? Pintar. Punca, yes. Very good. I feel keyword. 4 and 5. A negative 4 and 5. Itu punca kuadratik. Find the value of point P. Ya, yeah, that one is later question. B and C. But for A, not yet. B and C, we use that method lah. Okay. Hard sign. Okay. So, B, C, A. Now we have this value. Okay. So, mereka bagi condition ni. Tahu ada satu uh, ang anggapan yang mereka buat kat sini. B lebih kecil daripada C. So, soalan ni bagi ni sebab ada sebab dia. So, first of all, kamu kena buat macam ni. You have to make X minus B, X minus C equals to zero. Sebab kamu nak cari B dan C kan sekarang. And you have your X value kat sini. Jangan lupa negatif 4 dan 5 tu nilai X kamu. So, sekarang kamu nak gantikan untuk bersamaan ni, let's say. Berpandukan pada keadaan ini, based on this condition, which value will you choose? Negative 4 or 5 to put inside the X? Nilai mana kamu akan gantikan untuk cari? B yang ni 5 Let me think huh? uh, Nope not 5 Negative 4 betul Means this condition Kalau kamu gantikan 5 Kamu akan dapat B sama dengan 5 tau Kat sini And if kamu gantikan 4 kat sini Eh negative 4 Kamu akan dapat C sama dengan 4 Soalan kata, kata B less than C. Betul ke yang ni? So that's how kamu kena fikir. B ni lebih besar daripada C. Itu sebab soalan bagi kat atas untuk uh, nak trick kamu ke atau kamu understand betul-betul soalan ni. B less than C. So that's why I say B you must substitute with uh, negative 4. C, I mean X here you substitute with 5 untuk cari B dan C. So can you understand? So not here, X. Ah, uh, Because B is less than C. Nilai B dan nilai C yang kamu dapat kena patuhi arahan ini. You have to fulfill the condition. So that's how you find B and C. Ah, uh, Next one is a tough one. How to find A pula? Macam mana nak cari A? What's your idea to find A? Apa idea kamu? Masukkan nilai X. Um, yeah, good suggestion means you want to put X inside here, right? On top here. Sub in all the values. Very good, we shall collect. So, what you mean by sub in all the values is Kamu dah cari B dan C sekarang kan? 0, 40. Ah, ya, yeah, correct. So, FX tu 40. Kena sedar tau. Ini juga merupakan satu koordinat. Ramai tak sedar yang ni. A lot don't realize this is your y-intercept of your graph. Itu ialah pintasan y kamu. 0, 40. Okay? So, ramai tak akan sedar koordinat ini wujud pun. Sebenarnya wujud. Okay? So, ini ialah X, ini ialah FX. Cos koordinat x, y kan? X tu paksi x. Maksudnya kosong ini adalah pada paksi x. Fx ialah paksi y. Okay? So, kamu akan dapat macam ni. So, A kita nak cari. So, jangan ganti apa-apa nilai. Don't substitute any value. So, B you got earlier negative 4. And C you got negative eh, 5. Sorry. So, can you understand this step? Pintasan y. Ya, betul ni. Pintasan y 40. Can you understand this step over here? Macam mana saya gantikan semua nilai, faham tak? Okay, bagus. So, now 
Boleh tak kamu semua kira nilai A berapa? Sebab yang ni banyak negatif dan positif. So saya nak tengok kamu ada buat silap tak? Slowly kira. Jangan cepat-cepat. Two. Yes. Correct Rizal. A is two. Jangan surprise tau. Answer scheme bagi A sama dengan negatif tu. Ini salah. A is not negative tu. Skema jawapan bagi ni tau A sama dengan negative tu. Sepatutnya A sama dengan 2. Sebab kat sini dah negative A. Kalau kamu kata negative negative tu, kamu dapat 2 dah. So 2 tu persamaan dia akan bentuk macam ni. Bentuk dia bukan macam ni. So boleh faham tak yang tu? Kenapa A tu tak boleh negative 2? Kena berpandukan bentuk graf. Kalau A lebih besar dari kosong, bentuk dia senyum. If A less than zero, bentuk dia cry. Masam. Macam mana? Ah, Saya tunjuk kat bawah sana. Saya tunjuk ah, working saya. Okay, so first of all, saya explain dulu. So this is your equation, okay? Saya salin balik saja dari soalan. So first, kamu kena buat assumption yang ni. X minus B equals zero. So, B, yang P tu ialah B saya lah, indirectly, okay? So, boleh gantikan ni lain. When X is negative 4, kamu akan dapat B sama dengan negative 4. So, boleh faham sampai ni? Jangan tengok lain dulu. Sampai nilai B boleh faham tak? Akimi, you ask why is, why ya? Kenapa macam tu ke? Ah, okay. So, I explain this one. So first of all, kenapa saya bubur X sama dengan, I mean kosong kat situ sebab kat paksi X kat sini, saya nak tanya kamu. Wait, huh? I ask a question. So ini untuk membuktikan jawapan saya lah. Tunggu ah. Huh? Okay. Boleh tak bagi tahu kat sini? Can you all tell me what is the equation? For anything on the x-axis. Apa persamaan dia? Kalau mendata macam tu. Apa, what's the equation we use to represent it? Kalau sesuatu kat paksi x macam ni. Kalau satu garis lurus macam ni. What do, what's the equation? Eh, hey, hey, careful, Rizal. Not x. Yes, correct. Y equals zero. Pernah dengar, per, pernah dengar tak yang ni? Semua. For the rest. Tahu tak menapa, mengapa Y sama dengan kosong? Ah, That's why saya boleh buat anggapan kat sini. X minus B equals zero. Sebab sekarang kita nak cari koordinat X bila Y sama dengan kosong. Sebab sekarang titik X tu adalah pada paksi X. So that's why I put equals to zero. Sebab fx ni dah jadi kosong. So that's why I put equal zero. So boleh faham yang tu? Can understand that part? Ya, yeah, betul. Correct. Very good. So you can gantikan sekarang. X sama dengan negative 4, kamu masukkan kat sini. You put here. You will get B equals negative 4. So if you can get B is negative 4, you get one mark over here. So, konsep sama apply pada untuk dapat nilai C. Ingat lah, C ni bukan pintasan Y. If C is your pintasan Y, sepatutnya jawapan kamu 40. Tapi bukan kan? It's not 40. So, C is not your Y intercept. Ya, jangan terlalu fix dengan bentuk am. Sebab yang ni bukan bentuk am dah. Dah difaktorkan. The equation has been factorized. Okay? So, you can ganti X sama dengan 5 kat sini. You will get C equals 5. So yang ni N1, satu marka. Okay, so now I explain for A. Macam mana nak cari A uh, kat sini semua. Okay, so yang ni persamaan yang diberikan. So saya kata bila dah cari B dan C, you can sub your B and C values here, right? Like this. So make sure sub negative 4 tau. X minus negative 4, not X minus 4 only. Sebab nilai B tu dah negative 4. So X tambah 4, X tolak 5. So, as we shall say, jangan lupa koordinat ni. Don't forget this koordinat. 040, you can sub inside. So, kamu boleh gantikan kosong kan nilai X dan 40 kat sini. So, you will get 
Final answer, A equals to. Be careful dengan simbol negatif dan positif. So, bila kamu selesaikan, boleh dapat A sama dengan 2. So, boleh faham? For those that ask how to get A value. Sekarang boleh faham tak? Ah, boleh dah. Good. This question slightly hard lah. So, if you get your A value correct, you get one more mark also. Yeah, so total to E mark. Okay. So, semua okay? We can proceed to the next one. Fall understand can respond. Okay, good. So, next. So, sekarang, if anyone want to ask question, can ask. Huh? Don't, we, don't worry. Okay. So, now we go question B pull up. Okay. Okay, so question B. Cari persamaan paksi simetri. So, what is the idea? Sekarang kamu boleh guna dua kaedah untuk cari sebenarnya. So, what's the method you will use? Which one is easier for you right now at this point of time? Kaedah mana kamu akan pilih untuk cari? What method you will use to find the paksi simetri? Yes, very good, we shall choose the correct method. Kena tahu, tahu. Ini yang ni punca. So, kamu boleh cari titik tengah kat sini. Yeah, negative B over 2A is the second choice. But it's also accepted. But you need to do more working lah. Kamu perlu buat lebih panjang, jangan kira. Tapi, kamu kalau kamu sedar, soal ni satu marka tau saja. Maksud jawapan betul satu marka. Jalan kira tak ada marka. So, kalau kamu tulis panjang-panjang, you have a chance to make a mistake. Kamu ada keberangkalian tinggi untuk buat careless mistake. So that's why pilih kaedah yang terpendek dan minimum risk. Kurangkan risiko kamu. Walaupun dua-dua kaedah betul sebenarnya. So can you understand? So you will get one over two. Simple saja kaedah ini. Satu baris saja. Ah, good. So you will get one over two kat sini. So, bila kamu dapat 1 over 2, kamu dapat satu marka. Remember, tulis X sama dengan 1 over 2. Tahu, jangan tulis 1 per 2 saja. Sebab persamaan kena ada sama dengan. Simbol ni kena muncul dalam jawapan kamu. This symbol has to appear in your answer. So, equation always write equals to. Okay? So, now C. How to find coordinate P? Macam mana nak cari coordinate P? Ya, yeah, 0.5 juga accepted. Based on answer scheme, 1 over 2 or 0 0.5? Sub, yeah, correct. That's the keyword. So, boleh gantikan 0.5 dalam persamaan. Yes, very good, Sugan. Gantikan nilai X dalam persamaan. So, macam ni. So, bila kamu boleh gantikan 0.5 lebih senang lah berbanding sesuatu pecahan, kan? So, kamu boleh gantikan 0.5 dalam semua nilai X kamu. Persamaan asal kamu macam ni. Fx sama dengan negatif A, X minus B, X minus C. So, sekarang kamu ada A, B dan C kan. Kamu dah cari kat A. You already found in A. So, now you just sub 0.5 on all your X. So, you will get 40.5. So, ramai akan stop kat sini. Tapi lupa soalan tanya nak bentuk coordinate. So you have to write in the form of coordinate. Don't just stop here or your answer here wrong. You won't get full mark. So make sure you write in coordinate form like this. So yeah, that's how you score your one mark. Okay, so yeah, this question complete already. So boleh faham seluruh soalan ni? Can understand the whole question? Boleh, good. So now we proceed. So, how you all find this chapter now? Okay, yeah. Uh. Is it easy to understand? Saya nak break sekejap. Nak tengok semua okay. Masih okay atau tough to catch up? Easy. Yeah, easy. Good. I like to hear that. Means it's good chance you will understand it much better lah. If you take also. <laughs> yeah, still survive. <laughs> I'm not sure about that when you say that. But <laughs> still survive is good lah. Okay, boleh. So, we proceed. Huh? So, next. 
Okay, perak trial. Soalan hampir serupa tau boleh nampak persamaan. Suruh cari nilai P, Q dan R. So, can you do a K-Bart question? Uh, let me see. Ya, uh. I'm not sure. Do you consider this K-Bart? No. Oh, wait, wait. Go back to Ashley. Wait, uh, Jason. I don't understand why X is 0 0.5. Oh, here. For B, right, you mean? C, oh. C is we find Y coordinate actually, not 0 0.5. C is we find for the maximum point. Uh, basically, semua sekolah akan ambil soalan trial untuk bagi latihan ke kamu. That's why they got this question. This one C for actually, this one is maximum point, not your axis of symmetry. I think you meant B, I think. You don't understand this part, huh? Oh, understood that you are automatically understand. Okay, <laughs> not bad. Okay, so we proceed. Oh, for Jason, soalan kebat lah. Let me find. This one not kebat. This one, so I don't think kebat. Actually, not much kebat question come out down trial. Saya so, dah tengok semua dah. Ah, this one? Pasal kebat tak? Macam ni. Okay, let's go. Okay. So, semua ready ya dengan kebat. Ini Jason. Kalau semua tak mau, boleh blame Jason nanti. Bukan saya yang pilih tau. <laughs> Tapi bagus juga lah. Kalau nak cabar diri kamu, it's good to try also actually. Okay. So let's read the question. So floor plan of Mukri's house. So ini uh, macam bentuk rumah dia lah. <laughs> Jason bagi semangat kat semua. <laughs> okay. So okay. Mukri's plans to plant grass in the region. Dia nak tanam rumput kat segi tiga kaki sama. Maksudnya... Region yang ni dengan yang ni, glass. Okay. So, SMR and PKQ. Okay. So, saya nak tanya sekarang. Kalau RM sama dengan 2X, MS is what? Apa jarak bagi X? What's the length of MS? Saya nak tahu kamu faham tak konsep segi tiga kaki sama. What's the length of MS? Dua M saja, typo ke? Dua X, ya keren. Ya, dua X. So, means if QK is X meter, means KP is also X meter. Ya, yeah, good. So, bila kamu nampak, if you see this kind of symbol, right? Make sure you write the same thing back. Means it's equal. Kalau kamu nampak garis macam tu, if you see that kind of line, means it's equal. Okay? So, now, let's read the question. Ah, sekarang soalan lebih susah. Ya, yeah, because it's the same. So now, soalan tanya, form a quadratic expression. Biasanya soalan senang, they will give you the quadratic expression. But now, it's your job to form. Kamu kena bentuk sekarang. Represented by shaded region. Okay? So, uh, okay. Siapa boleh bagi tahu idea? Macam mana nak cari shaded region? What is the formula? What is the expression you will use? Apa ungkapan? Kamu akan guna. It's going to be quite long to type out. Just short, short. Don't type out so long. What is your idea? Luas segi empat minus triangle. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Correct. Means you will take luas seluruh yang ni. Minus this triangle. Minus this triangle. Okay, so, because, mengapa, okay, saya nak tanya sekarang, mengapa saya tak boleh cari luas ni straight away? Why do I have to go to this minus this? Mengapa saya tak boleh cari luas kawasan berlorek secara terus? Okay, what question for you all? Why can't I do that? Because it's easier, what? I just find straight away the area of shaded region. <laughs> Too difficult. Good answer, Junal. No formula. Ah, that's the thing I want to hear. Sugan said it. Tak ada rumus. If you don't have formula, kamu tak boleh gantikan nilai. Yeah, not enough info. So, good. 
because this is not a regular shape kamu tak pernah belajar macam mana nak selesaikan bentuk macam ni and cannot be solved also so yeah that's why i say we cannot use to find this lah <laughs> of course it's hard to do that yeah i just want to ask you all only okay so okay so now i will ask let me see what other things huh mm okay so can anyone find or not can anyone tell the final answer i think nothing much to ask here can you tell your quadratic expression slowly solve got still a lot of time So if anyone get the answer you can share with me. Is it form 4 chapter? Yes, correct. Form 4 chapter 1 Pritika. So if there is one line at the other triangle, yeah, yeah, correct. Anything that has the same line like this means it's same. Why you say maybe? Not confident, ah, so good. <laughs> Let me check for you, ah. Huh? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, correct. Very good. Everything correct. Actually, you no need to put equal zeros because you're not solving yet the question. So just leave it without the equal zero. It's fine already. Okay, so yeah, so siapa siapa yang masih solve juga teruskan solve. Tahu jangan tengok chat box lagi. Solve at your own pace first, then look up and check your answer. Okay, so macam tu. Okay, so now I go and explain the question how to solve this one. Hey, never mind. We go to part B first. Okay, so now they say given area of shaded region. Hey, na. Okay, mereka bagi kawasan berlorek one eight four meter square. So what is the expression now? Kamu akan tulis. Tadi kamu dah dapat quadratic expression dia macam ni. This is your quadratic equation. So what will you do now when they tell you shaded region is one eight four? Apa kamu akan buat sekarang? What's your step now? When they give you the shaded region is one eight four. This represent your shaded region. Yang ni mewakili shaded region. Yang ni juga shaded region. So apa concept sekarang? What will you do to the equation? Yes, correct. Equal to one eight four. Good. Means you all understand. So okay. So now this is not in a general form yet. So you need kamu kena pindah satu lapan empat kat sebelah kiri pula. Sebab now we want to equal to zero. Quadratic expression always equal zero at the right hand side. Okay. So yeah. So you will get something like this down here. Let me show you. Ah uh, okay. This one like this. So ah uh, macam mana saya nak pergi dari step yang saya tunjuk? How do I? What do I do? Apa langkah saya? kat situ times 2 ya yeah. kamu kena darab 2 kepada seluruh persamaan so why i do that kenapa saya buat macam tu is because i don't want fraction saya tak mau fraction so akan jadi suka bila kamu nak buat pemfaktoran if you have a fraction in your answer okay so ya yeah. so you darab 2 kamu akan dapat macam ni don't careless ah huh? So times two to all the terms. Kena darab kepada semua term. Kat sini, kat sini, kat sini dan kat sini. Okay. So next kamu akan dapat macam ni. Pindah 368 to this side. Sebab kita nak samakan dengan kosong. So you will get something like this. Okay. So siapa-siapa boleh bagi tahu tak. Mengapa saya modify kepada macam ni. Why do I modify the equation to come like this. Why I can just like straight away factorize. From here, right? Why do I this thing? Untuk dapatkan x. 
yeah yeah that's the correct answer but why i uh, make like this why i do like this kenapa saya buat macam tu yes very good so good avoid the negative form biasanya tahu nilai a kita tak mau dalam bentuk negatif sebab akan jadi susah untuk kamu faktorkan bukan tak boleh but a bit difficult only you might get confused make careless mistake all that lah so as i prefer saya cadangkan untuk buat yang ni lah quadratic formula form yeah correct good so you will get like this so macam mana kamu dapat yang ni ini adalah dari calculator and some people also ah kalau kamu terlalu bergantung kepada calculator if you are over reliant on calculator you will straight away write this don't do like that you will skip this two step means you kamu tak akan dapat marka dah some marks you will miss out don't straight away write the final answer because it's a common thing also among student biasanya student akan buat macam ni kalau tak tahu macam mana nak factorize mereka akan tulis jawapan straight dari calculator okay so hope you all are not that type of people lah okay so make sure so all the steps okay so can i write the calculation uh, what do you mean in book in your own book ah ah okay so i forgot to tell uh, everyone here i will send this pdf in my whatsapp group so tak perlu risau you will all will get the solution i'll send all this to the whatsapp group ah uh, so no need to worry if you cannot copy now also still okay nanti kamu akan dapat okay so we continue yeah every time i share i think you just join that's why kalau stud kalau mereka yang lama dah join mereka tahu saya selalu share dalam group setiap pdf Okay, so yeah, next one. Ah, uh, later you need to PM me lah my number. Wait, I put my number here. Wait ah, uh, I type the chat box for you all. So anyone yang bukan dalam group saya, you can PM my WhatsApp to at you lah. This my number, WhatsApp. Of course lah, you got. <laughs> for those don't have only, boleh PM saya nanti untuk add dalam group. Okay, so you can save the number. Okay, so next, let's go on. Part C now. Okay, hence, hey, people some more. Hence, find the length of LM. Okay, macam mana nak cari LM sekarang? Ah, uh, wait now. Uh. Yeah, betul juga. You can invert between the two. Kamu boleh tukar posisi dia. Kalau macam ni pun boleh. Kalau x minus 4, 5x minus 64 equal 0 pun boleh. Same meaning. Maksud sama. Okay, masih diterima. Ah, uh, good question also. Okay, so now how to find C now? Hence, find the length of LM. Macam mana nak cari C? What is the thing we will do? Masukkan nilai X betul. Just now you got X equals to 4, right? Kamu dapat yang ni. So, masukkan kamu akan dapat 16 meter untuk yang ni. So, ringkas sajalah yang ni. Okay. So, let me show where you get the marks for the question. Huh? So much conteng. Banyak conteng kat sini. Okay, let me show the marks down here. Okay, so for part A, question A, kamu ada dua markah kan? So, first mark. Kamu dapat kat sini. When you show this line, maksudnya you have to gantikan all the nilai correctly into the formula. Ganti dengan betul means the pemeriksa akan check satu per satu lah. They will check one by one. If all same, kamu akan dapat satu markah yang ni. Okay? And the next one, final answer. Final answer also always one more mark here. So you get one mark also for your final answer. That's correct. So boleh faham? Soalan ni macam mana pemberian markah markah? Can understand how the marks are distributed? Okay, good. So, two marks here. Okay, so for part B, you have around how many marks? Four marks. Part B is four marks. So, first mark, when you can show this one. Langkah ni, kamu dapat one mark. Okay. And next, when you can show factorization. Hey, sorry, this one. Bila kamu dapat persamaan ni dalam bentuk arm, when you can get it in the general form, you get one mark. When you show this one, kamu dapat satu markah juga. 
and when you can get your correct final answer, also one more mark here. So total four marks. So can I understand? Can I understand how the marks given for B? Yes, good. Okay. So now for C pula. C is one is two marks. So bila kamu tunjuk yang ni betul, you get one mark. And final answer, one mark, two marks. Okay, so that one quite simple. Lah. Okay, so yeah, this is your K-Bar question lah for Jason. Jason yang tanya yang ni. Okay, so now I rasa nak pergi soalan balik yang biasa. Because I thought discuss ya banyak lagi. Okay, this one, uh, this one same. Tak mau. We go to a different type of question pula. Kita pergi soalan aplikasi pula. Okay, this one. Ah, this one is a good question. Soalan bagus. Okay, so uh, this bridge equation dia macam ni. So, quadratic lah, parabola. Okay. So, mereka nak tahu maximum height. What is the maximum height? Ketinggian maximum. So, macam mana nak cari? Any suggestion? Ini soalan berbentuk aplikasi harian. Daily life application question. Maximum point. Uh, yeah, but how to find it? Macam mana nak cari maximum point tu? Y intercept. Um, no, nope, Y intercept not related. Negative B, yes, correct. You must know your equation of axis of symmetry. Kamu kena tahu persamaan paksi dia. Ya, yeah, betul, paksi simetri. Because melalui langkah ini, kamu dah tahu nilai B dan nilai A kamu kan? Dari persamaan ni. So, kamu akan dapat X sama dengan negative 2 per 2 negative 1. So, X kamu sama dengan 1. So, when you get X sama dengan 1, kamu boleh gantikan X balik dalam persamaan. So, kamu boleh cari nilai HX. So, HX tu akan jadi titik maksimum kau. Sebab, paksi, when the paksi symmetry, axis of symmetry is 1, it will always hit at the maximum point on top here. Uh, paksi dia akan menyentuh titik maksimum. Okay? So, boleh faham konsep? Can you understand the concept? How to solve the question? So, find axis of symmetry, then sub back the value. Yes, good. Okay, so now we see the penyelesaian dia. B dia lebih bagus soalan. Ini tak relate dengan kuadratik tau. But it's a good question also. Okay. So, first, I akan cari persamaan kuadratik. Eh, persamaan kuadratik pula. Uh, axis of symmetry. So, you will get x equals 1. Make sure negative. Huh? Careful dengan negative. Negative, negative jadi positif. Okay. So, next. Kita gantikan balik. We sub back. When x is 1, you will get like this. Make sure sub carefully also. Negative bracket 1 square. Okay. So, you will get 25 meters. This is your answer. So, jangan lupa unit juga. Sebab nak tahu ketinggian tau. So, must have unit meters. Okay. So, that's how you solve this kind of question. Can you understand? Okay, good. Let me see. Uh, where is it? Ah, okay. So, this question got two marks. So, two marks. If you can show this one, bila kamu tunjuk yang ni, kamu dapat satu marka, you get one mark here. And your final answer betul, you get one mark also over here. So, two marks. So, now, ah, this question nice. Lepas kira paksi simetri, nilai X kena ganti dengan satu. Ah, yeah. Kena ganti satu kat persamaan yang asal kat soalan. You need to sub back to the original equation of the question. Macam tu. So, kita nak cari nilai X yang dapat bagi ketinggian maksimum bagi jambatan. We want to find the X value that gives the maximum height for the bridge. So, that's how it works lah. Okay. So, boleh Nick? I'll proceed lah. So, we see soalan B pula. Okay, this soalan quite interesting also. Okay, good. So, soalan B. Wait, uh. Okay, so contractor will use two bars of solid to build a horizontal bridge, bridge arch. Okay, 
So price of kilogram of solid ini semua quantity yang diberi. Okay, so langkah pertama, how do you find this? What will you find first? Horizontal, that's the keyword. They want to know this one, horizontal x. What, apa yang kita kena cari sekarang? Punca, very good Jason. Because from the punca, baru boleh tahu uh, jarak mengufuk dia. Horizontal distance, then only you can find. Okay? So, kamu kena cari juga punca dari persamaan kuadratik. So, let me see part B. Okay, over here. So, kamu dah ada persamaan. Soalan dah bagi. Soalan already give you the quadratic equation. So, saya ubah macam ni because I don't want the A value to be negative one. So, you will factorize like this. So, yang ni, you will get the values here but don't forget from the calculator you need to show this step also. You need to think backwards. Kena fikir balik. Apa kaida untuk factorize dia. Okay. So you will get x is 6, x is negative 4. So can anyone tell me what is the length of the bridge, horizontal distance? Apa jarak mengufuk berdasarkan punca? Eh, careful, not 6 meter. 6 meter is from the origin only. Dari titik asalan kosong. What's your horizontal distance? Based on the roots of the equation here. Yes, very good, Atika. 10. Kamu kena include nilai dari negative side of the axis also. You need to include the negative region of the y-axis, x-axis, sorry. Yeah, 4 plus 6. You have to neglect negative sign because now we are talking distance. So, negative sign not counted. Tak mengiras uh, tanda negative. So, sekarang kamu dah dapat 10 meter, okay? So, length 10 meter. So, sekarang soalan bagi... 1 meter equals 6.313 kg. So 10 meter, how heavy is it? Sana tanya. What is the berat untuk uh, steel bar? Yes, very good. 63.13 kg. Okay, and then here, uh, soalan pergi lagi. 1 kg, 220. So 63.13 kg, how much? Can anyone count? So all of this you have to keep on timesing. Kena darab berulang kali. What will be your answer? One kg is two twenty. So sixty three point one three kg. How much? Correct. One three eight point eight eight six. This one in terms of RM. Huh? So, saya nak tanya semua sekarang. Adakah ini jawapan akhir kamu? Is this your final answer? RM138.886? No. Why? Very good. Everyone not careless. Bagus. Why is it not? Apa dalam soalan uh, menyebabkan kamu kata tidak? Ah... Uh, no, no, not about decimal. No, 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 not decimal point. Two, yes, very good, Atika. Pernah tengok kat sini tak? Contractor mau two bus. Two bus, not about titik perpuluhan. They want two bus. Ini semua kamu kira satu bus saja. Pernah realize tak? Did you realize all this you count is only one bar of steel? So that's why you have to times all of this by two. Ah, uh, So jangan tertinggal step two. Itu step yang paling penting. Okay? So how you solve this is you do ratio like this. 1 meter 6.31T. So 10 meter is 63.13. 1 kg RM220. So 63.13 kg. You will get this one as you say. But don't forget. Mereka nak 2 bar sekarang. So 2 bar kena darab 2. So yang ni. Ah, for those who say 2 decimal point correct. Betul juga. 2 tempat perpuluhan. Ah, because RM we want in cent. RM and cent. So, don't exceed 2 dp. Don't exceed 2 decimal place. Okay? So, can okay, understand this question? Yes, very good. Okay, so where are the marks? So, first mark, when you can show this, you get one mark. Make sure you express your quadratic equation correctly. And when you can show factorization, you get one mark. When you get your x values correct, you get one mark. 
and your final answer one mark okay so yeah this how you solve this lah so i think still got time let's go one more question because 9 o'clock we end so we try one more question with everyone let me see which question no huh? mm which one this one we done all this we done yeah this one we done mm let me see okay this one lah let's try this one different type okay jom cuba semua now we read together quadratic equation fx i think not that clear persamaan dia macam ni this is the equation okay so i just write it out back for you so as two different real roots okay siapa siapa belajar and maths kat sini tau tak anyone learn and maths here this one i asked about and maths question to anyone here Okay, okay. So, can you all tell me two different real words? What is the keyword you'll write in your answer? Ah, uh, this is when and math student boleh show show off kepada student math. Apa kelebihan ilmu yang mereka ada tentang ni? What will you write when you see two different real words? This one tak ada dalam math. Saja tanya saja untuk ulang kaji for those who take and math. Yes. What is greater than zero? That's the key point, greater than zero. But what is the thing on the left hand side? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. What's the thing this side? Correct, positive. What is the thing we write here? In that maths. Yes, correct. Canton b square minus four ac. This one we call as discriminant in that maths. Yeah, Juna also correct. Just this part only. You want this one? B square minus four ac. Okay, so this is for maths only. Saja tanya. So we see the question now. One of the roots is one. Okay, so what can I do now? Bila soalan tanya, ah, uh, soalan cakap one of the roots is one. So what does one represent? Apa nilai satu tu mewakili? What can you do? Punca. Okay, very good. So what will you do now? Masukkan satu dalam x. Very good. Correct. Means all the x kat sini kamu gantikan dengan satu. So dari sini kamu boleh cari nilai m dah. Sebab yang ni kamu akan samakan dengan kosong. Because roots are on the x-axis. Means it's the x-intercept. Pintasan x. Pintasan x, y sama dengan kosong. So that's why sama dengan kosong kat sini. So how you solve is like this. Uh, okay, like this. So when x is one, kamu kena ganti. Tunjuk juga step ni. Show this step. So from here you must simplify. So four minus m square plus eight minus three m. So you will get like this. Okay. So can okay, understand this one? So you will equal zero. You will get m is three. Can I use add maths formula? Ah, yeah, yeah. This question. Wait, let me think. I always confuse this one. Add maths formula in maths. Yes, can. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. This one is a bit confusing. Let me think. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm thinking. N maths formula and maths. Cause I'm thinking N maths formula. Yeah, cannot, cannot. N maths cannot use in maths. Yeah, cannot. Maths you can use in N maths. That's how it works. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, discrimination lah, bit for maths. Maths guna formula yang sedia ada in the front of the formula sheet. Why? Uh? You ask KPM lah this one. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> actually, I have no reason because actually it's you can if you learn and maths kamu boleh guna formula tu asalkan you get the correct answer because concept wise it's proven correct for me lah. So I feel there's no problem by using and maths formula and maths but ah uh, just follow lah to get the marks. If you want to score in maths, just use maths formula. Simple as that. Don't try to do extra for them. What they ask is what you do. Okay, so that's the concept, lah. So can you understand so far? We go part B now. This question look like and maths a bit. I think a lot can tell. That's why you ask this question to me. So I was a banya pk mat ini soalan and maths code. Sebab nampak has two different real roots. Mm, okay, so part B now. So value of the other root. So how to find? Macam mana nak cari punca yang satu lagi? How to find the other root of the equation?
what's the method we will use masukkan nilai m dan faktorkan yeah very good means you find the m then you form a quadratic equation eh hey, hey, sugan wait 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 i think quadratic formula quadratic formula i feel like cannot use in maths you know because maths soalan akan tanya soalan yang boleh faktorkan secara biasa simple factorization quadratic formula for at maths because this formula is not given in maths formula sheet only at maths formula ni tak diberikan dalam senarai rumus untuk matematik hanya matematik tambahan yeah so usually question maths won't ask you to use <laughs> why hi ya good lah <laughs> Quadratic formula complex, you know, got all the search and all that. So it's better use simple fact. Ah, Jason means you never take at match, right? Do you take at match, Jason? If you ask that question, means I think you never take at match. If you take, then I'm very scared because you don't know. <laughs> oh my God! What form are you now? Form four. Ah, uh, did you enter the chapter? Chapter two for at match. You, that's the starting, you know, of the chapter. You should know that formula by now already. But anyways, if you can't memorize it, it's all right. It's put. It's given in at match formula sheet. Okay, so no need to worry. You can flip to the front of your exam paper and find it. So yeah, that's all. So value or other word people said, ah, uh, factorize, right? So it's like this. Oh, it's called quadratic formula, lah. Okay, so when m is three, just now kamu dapat m sama dengan tiga kan? So you gantikan, substitute m all the values of m back. You will get this equation. So make this equation equals to zero because now we want to find the roots. Kita nak cari punca. So boleh faktorkan yang ni melalui kaedah pemfaktoran, and then you will get something like this. Okay. I want to ask everyone why? Mengapa saya bubo x sama dengan satu ditolak? Why is x equals one rejected? Okay, but why? Mengapa saya menolak? Ya, betul. Because question us the value of the other root, punca yang lain, selain daripada yang ni. So that's why we cannot. Yes, we already found one in the first question, correct? So that's why you can conclude. Punca satu lagi is one over three, not one. So yeah, this how you solve this question lah. So can okay, understand this question? Ah, uh, wait ah, uh, show the marks. I think I didn't show yet on top. Hmm, not yet. Okay, I show the marks for this question. Okay, so when you can substitute this one correctly, sub m value correctly, kamu dapat satu marka kat sini. And bila when you get your m value correct, you also get one more mark. So two marks here total. Okay, so can understand this part how the marks are awarded? Macam mana mereka diberi? Can understand the two marks? Okay, good understood. Good. Okay, so next. So for B pula, for soalan B, when you can show this one, uh, this one over here. This factorization, you get one mark, and when you can show this one, you also get one mark, and one more mark comes from your final answer. So make sure you tulis x sama dengan satu di tolak tau. You must write it's rejected. So this one also one more mark. So three marks over here for you. Okay, so this how we solve it. What is K one? Ah, good question, Alima. You ask this. So actually, this one you don't need to know because this is part of the marking scheme. You need process for markan. But if you want to, if I want me to explain, can lah. Kenapa satu tak ambe? What do you mean? Oh, satu yang ni ke? Why is this one not taken? Itu soalan kamu ke? Because this one they already give you in the question. Mereka dah bagi ke atas ini. Can you see? Salah satu punca is satu. And then kamu dapat jawapan kat sini juga satu. So that's why I reject x equals one. Yeah, very good Sugan. Thanks for explaining actually. 
yeah rejected kamu hanya ambil nilai yang ni sebab x equals 1 they already gave you in the question mereka tanya punca yang lain selain x equals 1 okay so ah uh, about the process for makan maybe i can explain this a bit okay so k1 right kaida so whenever you show working jalan kira itu dikira sebagai kaida you get one mark for that or how many marks lah depending so when n1 pula is jawapan ahe you get n mark for your correct final answer so that's why untuk maths especially they tekankan tunjuk jalan pengiraan sebab apa if you get your final answer mereka apply kaida ini they use this rule in the marking. If kamu tak ada jalan kira, if your K is zero, answer betul tak diterima juga, N zero. So that's why they always say show your working in maths and also at maths lah. Because they apply this thing, K zero, N zero. If you get correct answer but no working, not accepted also. Uh, so this one you have to be careful. So make sure show all your working, tunjuk saja jalan kira. Sebab kalau jawapan kamu salah, if your final answer is wrong, but you have your correct working, kamu masih dapat marka tau. You won't get full marks, but at least let's say, out of three. If kamu dapat jawapan betul, tapi tak tunjuk jalan kira, kamu dapat kosong. But if you show working and get wrong answer, kamu masih dapat macam dua. So which one you want? Definitely two, right? Kamu tak mau kosong marka kan? Ah, Konsep dia macam two. That's how the marking goes. Ah, uh, so always remember working is important. Bukan jawapan akhir saja. Working actually more important than your final answer. Jalan kerja tu lebih penting dari jawapan kamu. Hmm. So macam tu lah. So I think we can end already. Semua dah habis kot. Soalan sama yang ni. Anyone want to try last question? One more. Before we end. Soalan short saja determine value of a and c sure okay me me means you want to try right <laughs> okay i think you want to try okay good good ah uh, siapa volunteer nak solve soalan ni since it's the last question anyone want to volunteer or not a is for c equals for so far to solve uh. let me check huh wait uh, i need to find which one is it Mm. Ah, very good. Ah, yeah, open mic. You open lah since you say it's wasty. <laughs> you want to volunteer? Help me explain how to solve this question. I explained to you all so long, right? So, siapa siapa nak terangkan kat saya balik tak? Macam mana nak solve? <laughs> okay, A is for no A is not for, but your C value is correct. Oh, co corrected already. Okay, okay. Very good. That's your answer. So anyone who don't know how to solve can refer to Parati's answer, correct? A is 3, C is negative 2. This is your answer. So semua tak mau explain, so I explain lah for you all, okay? So A value, let me see, huh? <laughs> so okay, work at your own pace. Jangan ingat cepat tu best. Doesn't mean fast is always good. Sometimes slow and steady is better. Slow and steady wins the race. There is a saying, right? I'm confused there. Confused at what? Because at the end of the day, examiner tak tengok uh, uh, secepat mana kamu solve. Mereka nak tengok jawapan kamu betul ke tak. Itu that gains your mark, not how fast you solve. So, yeah, that's the concept. So if, I, if anyone, well, just now anyone asked question uh, earlier, I'm confused, let me explain, okay. So this is the equation, right? So now, how to find C value you can already find. Kamu boleh dapatkan nilai C daripada graph tables. No need any working. You can stay the way right, C is negative 72. You already get one mark here. So three marks, right? So two more marks, how? So that is from your A value. So how to find A value? This formula will appear in your mind. Boleh bagi tahu tak? Why I use this formula to find A value? Yes, betul lah Tika. C is pintasan Y. Mengapa saya guna formula ini untuk cari A? Why do I use this formula? Eh? 
Anyone got idea? Ada Nilai Puncha. Yes, very good, Ife. Good point. Because if you have your roots, Kamu Bolechari Paksi Symmetry, kan macam ni. Negative 5 over 2. Yes, very good. Axis of symmetry. So your X is negative 5 over 2. And do you have your B values sekarang semua? Ada nilai B tak dalam soalan? Soalan ada bagi ke nilai B? Ada. Yes, very good. So you have your B. Kamu ada B. Kamu ada X. Boleh carilah. Eh, itu sebab saya guna uh, formula ni lah. Yes, 15. Very good, Jun Hao. So you will get negative 5 per 2 sama dengan negative 15 per 2A. So you can solve. You cross multiply. You will get something like this. Here. Yeah. Negative 8 plus 3 over 2 equals negative 15 over 2A. So you solve. You cross multiply here. You will get A is 3. So that's your answer. Ah, Wait, okay, wait. Why? Any question? Actually, we finish already. So now, siapa-siapa ada soalan boleh tanya. Any question about quadratic, this chapter you can ask. Why do you do dual rumu symmetry? Uh, you mean this one? This one lah. Uh, this one is to find your A value. Sebab sekarang kamu tak ada nilai A. You want to find A value. So you have B value in the question. X you can find from here. Roots of the equation dah diberi. Punca. Negative 8 dan 3. So that's why I can find my X. And I already have my B. So now I find my A. To that formula. Saya guna rumus ni. Untuk cari A. Okay, understand? Ah, Jason, okay. Why X need to bahagi 2? Because we want to find axis of symmetry. If I do negative 8 plus 3, I get negative 5. That's not your axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is like your midpoint. Pernah dengar perkataan titik tengah ke? That is the meaning of axis of symmetry. Ah, That's why we divide 2 to make it equal on left hand side and right hand side. Ah, That's the concept. Midpoint. Axis of symmetry is midpoint. Ah, good. So wait, I tell one last thing for everyone. So saya bagi quote yang terakhir untuk semua. Ah, so anyone yang nak motivasi sekarang boleh dapatkan. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Pernah dengar tak uh, this quote? Have you all heard this quote before? <laughs> wait, let me copy. Oh, yo. I'll send the PDF. You don't need to copy now. I'll send this whole thing inside the group. Don't worry. Nak cari nilai C. Can I lihat? Yes, betul. C to Y intercept. Oh, yeah. This code also I'll send the group. Don't worry. It's one whole PDF. I'll send the whole thing. Uh, so for BM, siapa, nak, siapa yang belajar BM, uh, kehidupan itu bermula bila kamu keluar daripada zon keselesaan kamu. Comfort zone is something that will make you happy. Relax uh, and all the good feelings lah. But if you want to achieve success, kalau kamu nak score dalam SPM, kamu kena keluar dari zone ini. Kena uh, buat pengorbanan lah sikit. Itu maksud dia. Kamu tak boleh comfortable sangat. Example of comfort zone. Nah, I translate directly while looking at here. <laughs> I never use Google Translator. Example of comfort zone lah. Comfort zone is like when you don't do any homework lah, when you don't do exercise for maths, when you just like play game or anything. <laughs> don't do anything lah, that's your comfort zone. When you start to buat soalan, buat latihan, that's when you come out of your comfort zone. Yes, watch movies. <laughs> yeah, basically being comfortable. So you must get uh, comfortable being uncomfortable. Kamu kena selesa jadi tidak selesa. Uh, that's a famous quote or so. So you need to get out of your comfortable zone. Yeah, betul. Kamu semua tahu tak, sekarang saya tunggu result SPM. Do you all know this? 8 June keluar. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually bad zero five. So now I'm waiting for my maths and then maths and other subject result. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need all your wishes, la, of course. <laughs> Bahu saya boleh berjaya. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah. Wow, thank you. Thank you. So many people. Thank you a lot. I hope later I'll share all good results with you. La, so that give you all motivation for SPM. Yeah. Hey, June. Hey, June, Jason. <laughs> no, la. Uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> How many subject? Nine. Nine subject. Usually nine, jumlah subject tu sembilan saja. Hope so lah, lima, hope so. Yeah, science student. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'll share the news for untuk semua dalam group. <laughs> My ambition lah, something about maths lah. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't sound like so old. Lah. Why do I sound old? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, top student. Lah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct what Silva Wellman said, mathematician. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Tips I'll share. So you can PM me also. My number, you all got the divide. So anytime you can ask me. Top one ad match. Yeah, I like ad match actually. Wait, I put the number again. Wow. <laughs> don't dare say that. Huh? I don't know yet. I don't know whether I'm the top match teacher, but I hope I can come one. Love. I'm still starting. Bahu awal saja. Ada lebih yang lebih pengalaman dari saya actually. Yes, tips of course. Yeah, sure. So one more thing, now wait, wait, one more before you all go. Match is better. Agree. <laughs> we don't know the future. What's your ambition? Uh, like what Siva Alman said, maybe mathematician. I don't know. Something about maths, lah, or physics or anything. So anyone want to follow me? This is my channels, okay? So yeah, uh, I don't do physics class. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I can guide you online lah if you want. You can always PM me. Because I don't have time to do so many subjects. <laughs> so anyone here? Yeah, what class lagi? Free? Yes, free. So hope I have the time to still do class lah. Nanti, okay, yeah, sure, sure. So this is my channel. Saya kat YouTube dan TikTok. Thank you, Aife. <laughs> yeah, this is my channel, YouTube and TikTok. So you all can follow me. Boleh subscribe kat sini. So, siapa-siapa yang belum subscribe, you can share to your friend also if you find it useful. Okay? Stay the way, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to reach 200 already. So, soon lah. If you all subscribe, like 10 more people can reach 200 already. <laughs> so, anyone want to take group photo or not? Come. So many people here today, you know. When I see this number come up, right, I'm so happy. <laughs> 